to address council regarding Black Lives Matter. Good morning. Welcome. Hi, it's a pleasure to see you all and an honor to speak before this body. I would like to draw attention to the fact that Teresa Rayford online is organizing a Dawson Park event tomorrow at four. It's um, in the near North Williams and it is in support of the Black Lives Matter issue. I would also like to invite the council personally to the 2 p.m. court date with Judge Simon in the U.S. District Court. It's courtroom 13B at 2 p.m. and allow time for security. You will also need to have a valid ID. And then I would also like to move to the issue of reparations for slavery in Jamaica and how this all ties in to why Black Lives Matter is that we have a very important thing called loyalty and that's loyalty what is good and right. When my grandpa Ransom Ng signed a loyalty oath to work in his job for the CIA he disavowed any affiliation with hate organizations, socialist parties, etc. And there was a long laundry list, which my father then also signed when he briefly worked there. And when we have an officer, Carl Kruger, who was supportive of the Mugalata Sural hate crime murder white Aryan resistance body as they dealt with the civil case, we clearly have a breach of national security. When we have German politicians knifed, we have historic cases like the knifing of Anna Lind or the death of Olaf Palma. We have FBI warning the Norwegian government that Anders Breivik is a high level security risk in terms of the neo-Nazi threat as it emerges in these, with the war-torn issue in Syria with massive refugee crisis, like none other since the time of World War II. We must understand that the Portland Police Union's co-opting of the Black Lives Matter zeitgeist is an insult. It is interpreted as an affront to the indignity and injustice of the continued ongoing murders of black people. And when an officer such as Jason Sari, who killed James Jahar Perez in Portland, can move over to Beaverton and work a security event for a sitting senator, Ron Wyden, and Wyden doesn't have the courtesy to get back with me as to why he has a killer at an event where his previous event in Portland was taken over by the courageous activism of Black Lives Matter. We have to see that we are in a sorry state of affairs for our security and for our adherence to the Civil Rights Act and the larger issues which are at play, which arise from the Magna Carta. And so I do humbly ask you here, my learned city council, to not make a joke of Black Lives Matter to not make a joke of black lives, to not make a joke of the Department of Justice lawsuit, to recognize they have shortcomings. They were afraid of the tinderbox of Ferguson. You could feel the pulse of the nation. We are tired of the killings. I am tired that a black boy was lynched in my neighborhood when I was seven. I'm tired that the racists wouldn't play with me and my mother had to explain that to me when I was three years old. I will respect the time limit and thank you very much. Thank you, take care. Okay, 1060.